Landslide in East Java kills two, dozens still missing. At least two people are confirmed dead and dozens more are missing after a landslide buried a village in East Java, Indonesia on April 1st. Heavy rain over several days caused a large sheet of rock and earth to dislodge and slide roughly 800 meters down the side of a mountain. There were warning signs. On March 26th, residents in the area reported seeing a 15 meter long crack on a cliff above the village expand to 20 meters. The alert went out and residents began to leave for safety the same day. However, many returned over the following days to harvest ginger from their fields. Rainwater had infiltrated the limestone subsoil and at about 8 a.m. local time, the land gave way, burying families beneath rock and mud. Seven excavators were sent in to clear the debris. In some places, the earth was 17 meters thick. Officials say the clear-up and recovery effort could take up to a month depending on the weather. Initial rescue teams were obstructed by traffic jams caused by people flocking to see the landslide. According to Indonesia's Antara News Agency, at least 26 people are still missing. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Here are some more landslides we've covered around the world. Over 50 people missing and dozens of buildings buried after a massive landslide in China. A landslide hit Shenzhen, China on Sunday, leaving dozens of buildings buried, and according to state-run media, at least 59 people missing. The BBC reports that a person living around four kilometers from the site described hearing a loud explosion at around noon when the landslide hit. State-run Xinhua News Agency reports the landslide also ruptured a gas pipeline, causing an explosion at the Hengtaiyu Industrial Park. China's Public Security Bureau's firefighting unit said 20,000 square meters was covered with soil, an area roughly the size of two standard FIFA regulation soccer pitches. There are conflicting reports as to how many buildings collapsed and how many people are dead and missing. Government officials say at least 1,500 workers are at the scene helping with the rescue effort. However, there has so far been no official word as to what caused the landslide. At least 20 killed in India landslide. Rescue workers are struggling to gain access to a remote part of northeast India that has been devastated by a landslide. The landslide hit West Bengal's Darjeeling district early Wednesday morning. At least 20 people have reportedly been killed due to the destruction. The area's remote location, incessant rains and damage from the landslide have made it difficult for authorities to reach the area. The landslide has leveled homes, blocked roads and disrupted the Darjeeling Himalayan train service. Excavators are working to clear up the mess. Reports suggest that the death toll is likely to rise as the search for survivors continues. Elsewhere, a red alert has been issued following a flood-like situation in Jalpaiguri, another district in West Bengal. Local authorities have said they are monitoring the situation. Days of heavy rain triggered a landslide along a main highway in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia on Tuesday, causing massive traffic jams. A landslide hit a section of the Mahamaru Highway in Malaysia, one kilometer from the parliament building, around 5 p.m. Heavy downpours loosen soil, destabilizing the hill slope. The soil is saturated after rainwater causes groundwater to rapidly rise. The groundwater reduces the internal shear strength of the soil. A landslide is triggered when gravity and hydraulic pressure from rainwater overwhelms the soil's resistance. Debris and soil covered all lanes, bringing traffic to a standstill. The slope was undergoing stabilization works, which is scheduled to be completed in March. No casualties were reported. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. How the massive landslide in southern China was caused by a mountain of construction waste. Either because of corruption or simple laxness, officials chose to ignore the 380,000 square meters of construction debris that towered over the outskirts of one of the most populous cities in China. That is, until everything came crashing down on Sunday. A massive wave of mud and construction debris blanketed 33 buildings and scores of people who were unable to escape fast enough. This week's landslide in China comes at a time when the number of construction projects in Shenzhen has been growing rapidly, leading to the generation of an enormous amount of debris. 
Several years ago, what had been a quarry on Shenzhen's outskirts became a dumping site for some of this debris. Dirt was stacked on top of a natural hill, with bulldozers adding more soil onto the mound every day, until the man-made mountain reached an average height of 6 meters, or approximately the height of three adults. The mound of construction waste eventually became too tall and its angle too steep, which led to its collapse. Reuters reports that the dump site should have been closed this past February, but workers said mud and debris continued to be dumped there each day. Residents are pointing their fingers at gross negligence on the part of local officials. Seeing as a government-run newspaper even printed a warning last year that Shenzhen was running out of dumping space, it's hard to imagine no one was aware of this ticking time bomb.